Oh, 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 oh my gosh! John! What's up everybody on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are out at Busco Beach, which is a 2,000 acre off-road playground, putting our two top dog machines up against each other. Our 750cc Honda powered cross cart and our 1,000cc BMW powered trophy cart. We have a list of challenges that we're doing today and we're scoping things out for our upcoming Mini Mayhem event. So in today's episode, we are talking about doing a hill climb challenge, some trail riding, circuit race, and to top it all off, a drag race. I know that's what y'all want to see. So we have 70 horsepower, 90 horsepower, lightweight, nimble, no suspension travel, lots of suspension, heavy bruiser. There's an awesome looking hill right over there. I'm going to hand it off to Ike and Charles. We're going to see what these things will do. You boys ready? Yeah. Ready. Fire them up. Meet you out there. All right. Well. All right, so this old 750 we just swapped in here is being very finicky, so Charles is tapping out, and I'm gonna see if I can get it through. John, what happened? Oh, I got scared, man. No, I didn't want to high center it. Oh Hail. my gosh. Okay. Hail. All right. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> this is going to be a long day, ain't it, boys? <laughs> All right, so we got to lift. Try not to hurt yourself. Yep. Oh, that All tire. Right. One, two, three, go. Come on, One, boys. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right. Can you cut the wheel, John? Yes, sir. And then show Thanks, in, guys. Oh. Shove in the clutch. Hold on. I'm uh, Yeah, I'm in first still. One, two, three, go. One more time. Yep. One, two, three, go. All right, John, you're good. Okay, later, You're fingers. gonna have to steer the back that way, son. Oh, I'm so afraid. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Hey, it has reverse now. Put her in reverse, Terry. Let's run it back, man. Let's do it again. You wanna <laughs> swap sides? No, no not yet. yet. Oh, you want a second go? Yeah. All right. Go! Oh. Oh. oh my gosh! Well, I lost. All right, let's switch the lane. So we only scraped a little bit right there. That was so close. I think John may have had him. Well, hey, Ike's saying one more time. He must have lost. I think you got me on that, that one, That was dog. close, man. You want to try it one more time? Sure. All right. Ready. Go. Oh, that looks really swampy. Goodness gracious. This venue has a drag race, a circuit race, a hill climb, but it also has awesome trails. So on our way over to the circuit race, we're gonna find some trails and see how these things do in a little bit more technical, slow speed situations. Ready, bud? Here we go. Oh, yeah. 
to the entrance of the trail system we wanted to ride, and we were met with a surprise. The conditions at Busco Beach are never the same twice, and the regular main access trails were bumpier than ever, punishing the cross cart and my back due to the vehicle's minimum four inches of suspension travel. I couldn't slow down because the air-cooled 750 needed airflow to keep cool, and I couldn't turn the engine off to give it a rest because our battery was already running low on juice. Ike, meanwhile, was comfortable as ever in the liquid-cooled trophy cart and 12 plus inches of suspension travel. Because I didn't want to overheat the cross cart's engine in the middle of the woods, we all decided to award the trail ride challenge to the trophy cart. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember us getting rain. Hold on, Charles. You don't have reverse. Huh? You don't have reverse. Yeah, I know. buddy that's kind of deep you got a toe strap right you made it <laughs> Let's go. It literally looks like that was built for that exact <laughs> puddle. I mean, the battery barely got wet. Yeah, so the cross cart should make it. Oh right. my gosh, that's going to be a wet I think ride. the battery is dead. I mean, it was really not doing good earlier when I tried to start it. And additionally, I didn't want to turn the fan on because that's going to make the battery worse and I just can't sit there and idle. So I had to turn it off. So the old cross cart really does not do well in low speed situations where you stop a lot. The battery is no good. So we made it out here to the circuit race and Ike is doing some warm up laps. It's a really cool circuit. It's got some bank corners, got some low G spots. And uh, we're going to go one at a time. Try to be safe and have fun. So Ike's gonna go first, and then I'm gonna get some warm ups, and we're gonna go hot and compare the times. If the cross cart's gonna win, it's gonna be this event. Oh my, and I'm so glad I zoomed in for that one. How did he know I was, uh, how did he know I was rolling for oh, that one? Oh, he probably doesn't have a spine anymore. No, he's taking it easy. Oh boy. Have y'all ever taken a fall? And knocked air out of you? Knocked air out of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Based on what just happened, I think we're gonna make this a warm circuit race, not a hot one. Yeah. Safety. Absolutely. You right? No. He's still catching some wind. It's better than breaking it. On your mark. Just one lap. Yeah, we got to get out the way. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That I, looked... I don't know what's good, but that wasn't bad. Yeah. Straps on my shoulder. 
does not feel great. That was definitely a warm lap. I don't see how you can do any better. Not, not. How are you going to say that and not challenge me? I'm not cha It's that bumpy. Okay, bumpy. It's that bumpy. You are going to suffer. All right, buddy, are you ready for your first lap? Not really, but okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, batteries toasted. All right, so I need to preface this by saying that even a stock side-by-side -side would have a really hard time on that circuit. Usually it's much better groomed than, than it was. It it's, was gnarly. It is the roughest I have ever seen it out here. And But there, it looks like they are in the middle of grooming the whole place, which is good. But where we were at, no. Yeah. So, so that being said, Charles, what were our times? All right, so Isaac, your time was a 44, 44 okay. seconds. John's yours was a 47. 47, okay. Boom, I got the win. <laughs> congrats, man, congrats. Thanks. Thanks. I love how the cross guard is losing every single one of these really badly, but <laughs> I still love it. <laughs> so anyway, the final event of the day, which is gonna be a drag race over at the drag strip. Hopefully that's smoother than everything else. We'll see you over there. If our clapped out 2019 flagship is going to take down 2020's big build, it would be here in the drag race. Either way, today is counted as a win for both. These two machines were built in a shed with the cheapest parts we could get our hands on, and they spent all day getting abused in Busco's harsh terrain, and they both, for the most part, held together. So win, lose, or draw, this episode is a success. But the trophy card is clearly superior in every way.
I, look at the front brakes. Every time. They're on fire. So close. That was good. Ah. They're like, t well, I'm going to say tit for tat, but they aren't. This thing's in front every time. Just a little bit. Yep. Dang. You just can't stand it, can you? No. <laughs> I still like the cross cart better. Is the trophy cart really three for zero? The trophy cart destroyed the cross cart. Oh, completely. no. Okay. Pretty much. And I'm only running on like three and a half cylinders. Yeah, because he mashed one of I the exhaust pipes. I mashed one of the exhaust pipes like shut. Excuses. Excuses. Hey, I'm just calling it how it is. Win. <laughs> Win. Congratulations, <laughs> man. You. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, the trophy cart is superior. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, but at the same time, not really, because if we built the worst machine after we built this one, that would just be a terrible. It would. But we're, it, this proves that we're just becoming better builders, build by build. And uh, these ter this terrain was just horrible out here. Um, yeah. Uh, I was a little worried on the track because it's got whoopsie doos. Yeah. And this thing is a handful going down that track. Dude, your rear axle is bouncing like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a handful. I'm like steering, trying to keep straight. Yeah. First, first pass, I thought I was going to take out Charles. You know, we could always build a 750. That's true. That'd be sweet. Because I and love turning this thing to like nine with, grand. With like some performance stuff. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Yeah. So maybe we don't have to find another one. We just build one. All right. So to wrap things up, the trophy cart was better in the hill climb. It was better in the trail ride because the cross cart didn't even make it to the trail ride. It was better in the circuit race and it was better in the drag race. Uh, but here we are. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. Charles has never had a, a time to properly get to know either vehicle, so we might give him a little bit of time to do that. But thank you for watching. We will catch you next time. Come out to Mini Mayhem October 22nd through 24th of 2021 right here at Busco Beach. You can see it's dusty. You can see there's a lot of terrain uh, on the weekends. It gets very busy, so you can find more information on our Facebook page in terms of what to expect, what to bring. Um, but until then, we will see you. Uh, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, that is just mad. If you get at this angle, like all the pipe is it's the pushed pipe is in. in the other pipe. It's in the other pipe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Look like you got a ball yeah. hammered. Yeah, come, hammered it in come there. Come check it this. On this angle. You can really get it. Oh, yeah, that's talent right there. Thank you. That's pure talent. Alright folks, here is how you get to the Cars and Cameras Mini Mayhem Fall 2021 meeting spot uh, at Busco Beach. First off, you're going to put in 1243 Bryant Boulevard, Goldsboro, North Carolina into your phone or GPS. And uh, we're about half a mile out and you can see uh, signs and trails, fields on the right here. There it is, Busco Beach entrance. Uh, make sure you check in, just like the sign says. Yeah, you got to check in. At Otherwise, you are trespassing. Yep, this spot right here. So you're going to go in, pay up, sign the waiver. All right, we checked in at the office and we're taking this road. There's a second road that goes to the right, but we're going to stay to the left. You're going to follow this straight. And our main camping spot is going to be right here on the left once we reach that group of trees.